Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNote.com and I'm here to give a quick overview on our thermometer teaching tool. Uh, when you first start the application, this is what you'll see here on the screen. And let me show you how to get here. And if you, this is a portion of our main menu here. And you see the teaching tools. If you click on that, that'll take you to the screen that has our uh, teaching tools. Uh, we have five right now. We're planning on uh, creating some more. And they'll all be free. And uh, of course, you can use those. They're free to use online um, at home or in the classroom. So when you go to the uh, teaching tools, once you click on this um, menu item here, it'll take you to the screen. And to get the thermometer, you'll just click this. Uh, uh, image right here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the um, thermometer teaching tool. And when you first start up, this is what you will see. And you can click these radio buttons to change it. Um, so we've got two. If you notice when I click one degree, the increments on the thermometer are one degree, and then they're about two degrees and five degrees. The markings here. Um, you also have demo, quiz, and random mode. And uh, I'll show you how those work in just a minute. Um, it, one, one, one thing I'd like to mention is um, this is really large if you have a small monitor or your resolution isn't that high and you find this is too large to display on one screen, uh, drop us a line. Uh, you can contact us via the Contact Us page and let us know and I'll create a, uh, a version that's smaller and uh, so that you can use it and it'll fit on your display and uh, be usable. So, anyways, let's go uh, to the teaching tool. It's, it's fairly simple. It's sim simple to use. Um, let's go ahead and do it on five degrees so you can see little, that a little bit better in the video. Okay, we're in demo mode, and all demo mode is, is if you want to show somebody what uh, 55 degrees look like, you just click on the 55 degrees, and you just click it anywhere. It'll it'll uh, move the closest mark there. So, as you notice, if I click on, let's go ahead and click on 45, it changes down here as I change it does. And that's just for demonstrating how the thermometer works. Now the quiz mode is um, the, very, the quiz mode and random mode are very similar in the fact that you can you need to enter the temperature what's showing on the thermometer and then you need to click on the check. Um, you can use the keypad here to enter numbers and I can also clear it. Um, or you can enter it in. Uh, I'm using uh, well, let's get a keyboard, and of course you have to enter numbers. I was trying to hit the uh, uh, some letters there, so we can clear that out. So in quiz mode, the only difference between quiz mode and random mode is quiz mode you actually get to um, set the temperature and then ask the student to uh, or child to put in the temperature and then check. Random will simply give you a random uh, number that a uh, random temperature, and you'll have to uh, student will have to check that out. Um, to actually put it in and check and see if they've got the right answer. So this one really is more for demonstration and say in classroom or something like that. Testing individually versus random is just more like a, a small quiz. So anyways, um, 65, this is showing 65 here and it's asking you what the temperature is. And let's go ahead and key in, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the buttons here, 65 check and then you notice it still stays there because this is quiz, uh, quiz mode and 75 let's go ahead and put in 75 uh, let's, put, let's, let's actually put in the wrong temperature and check and it says no you've got the wrong number and it allows you to try again that time I got it right now random plays just like quiz but you always after you enter uh, temperature incorrectly Oh, I'm sorry, that was 85. After you enter it correctly, then you get a new temperature, and it works like that. So that's how you use the uh, thermometer. And, and again, if you have trouble displaying this on a, uh, because it is too large, I'm running a big monitor here, so it's really hard for me to know exactly uh, what everybody's using. But uh, if you find that it won't fit on the screen, just let us know and I'll uh, create a special version for you. Um, anyways, I hope that's helped. Helps uh, help some. This video has helped some. And I, and I hope you enjoy using the thermometer. And uh, thanks for watching.